Maria Stewart was born Maria Miller in the year 1803 in Hartford, Connecticut. Although she was born free, little was known about her parents as she was orphaned at the age of five. At that time, she was taken in as an indentured servant by a white family where she would remain there for the next 10 years. During this time, she used the family's library and taught herself to read. After separating from the family to support herself, she worked as a domestic servant and also began to further her education by attending Sabbath school. She then moved to Boston, Massachusetts. In 1826, at the age of 23, she married James W. Stewart, a war veteran and a shipfitter, and she became a part of Boston's black middle class. Three years later, her husband died, leaving her a web widow, and due to unfair business practices, her husband's estate was swindled away from her. During this time, she got involved with black social institutions. She herself believed that she was a warrior for God, freedom, and for the cause of oppressed Africa. The abolitionist movement also started at this time. William Lloyd Garrison has just established his abolitionist newspaper, The Liberator. Garrison urged black women to contribute writing to his paper, and Maria Stewart quickly responded. She gave Garrison several writings and essays to publish in which he did. The first of these were entitled Religion and the Pure Principle of Morality, the Sure Foundation on Which We Must Build. After the essay was released, she began delivering public lectures. She later became the first woman in America to give a public address to mixed audiences. She gave a total of four public lectures in which she spoke about accountability, unity, self-determination, and economics within the Black community. She also advocated for women's rights and called for Blacks to resist oppression. However, by 1833, she backed away from public lecturing. She then moved from Boston to New York, and she continued political activism and teaching. In 1835, Garrison published another one of her works, Production of Mrs. Maria W. Stewart, which was a collection of speeches in essay form. Stewart became extremely influential after the work was published and women all across the country began lecturing openly. By 1852, she had moved to Baltimore, Maryland and began teaching privately as she struggled through financial hardships. In the following decade, she was appointed head matron at the Freedmen's Hospital and Asylum in Washington, D.C., the hospital to have been established by the Freedmen's Bureau in order to service black patients. She also continued to teach while working at the hospital. In 1878, at the age of 75, a federal law was passed granting pension to widows of veterans of the war in 1812. She began receiving $8 a month and used it to republish one of her works, Meditations from the Pens of Mrs. Maria W. Stewart. The book was published in 1879. Maria Stewart was an author, educator, and human rights activist. She was also the first American woman to lecture publicly to a mixed audience, and her legacy lives on today. If you enjoy watching our videos and would like to have a hand in creating them, click the Patreon link below to become a patron. Patreon is an online platform that allows users to support content creators in developing unique content. So go ahead, click that link, become a patron.